Yeah, I remember the other day when I'm, um, or I've done videos where I've said, you know, people don't mind making money off black men. It's just when black men start voicing their opinions, they become a threat or the people want them to shut up. Well, this is one of those stories again. Now, anybody who's been following my videos, no, I am not a fan of Kim Kardashian for various reasons. And I sit back and I laugh at some of our brothers running after this chick after everybody had been up in her. You know, I mean, she ain't had a bunch of dudes go up in her. And I mean, they still, people mock this chick, but at the same time, there are people out there who still follow her and the family around. And they've made their fame off of black people. And I'm sitting here, come across this article that says, Ray J mocks Kim Kardashian about sex tape pass. And this is what it says. Is, is Ray J really in any position to be making fun of Kim Kardashian? Yeah, he is. On Wednesday, Kim ex-boyfriend and sex tape co-star decided to take shots at the reality star by laughing at a series of uplifting tweets. You wouldn't be who you are today. You wouldn't have the depth, maturity, and the insight if not for the challenges that force you to grow up. Kim wrote Wednesday night, adding, keep your life in a positive perspective. We are not defined by our past. Of course, Kim, of course, have made some mistakes in the past. Name a 72-day marriage to Chris Humphreys and a sex tape she made with Ray J back in 2003. Her ex took the opportunity to mock the 31-year-old star, replying to the tweet with a simple LOL. How's that mocking my laugh? Just laughing. But anyways, Kim kept it classy and hasn't responded to Ray J's tweet. Just as a current bow, Kanye West ignored Chris Humphrey after he mocked him on Twitter earlier this week. This isn't the first time Ray J is taking shots at Kim in his book. Death of a cheating man, what every woman must know about men who stray, he hinted that Kim cheated on her first husband, Damon Thomas, with them, and wrote that their relationship was mostly a sexual one. There was more to relationship, but the majority of it was about our wild, extreme sexual chemistry. She was a straight freak who, lo who was down to do whatever, whenever, and seriously hypnotized me, he wrote. Now I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna give y'all my take on this, and I'm and I want y'all to really think about this. This person said he's just all kinds of nasty. He's such a toad. Then this, let me see. What else? Very immature, showing up with jealousy on his part. I'm not a fan of either, but close doors in the relationship should remain that way. Okay, it's always look. Sour grapes. The, this is some a black woman. Does he still have a music career? Another person supposed to, I guess supposed to be black. No. Yeah, he just between labels right now. Ha. There's another black person. I find her in the family simply fascinating for their stupidity. With that being said, Ray J is only known for being Brang's little brother that made a sex tape with him, with, with Kim. Looks to me like he wants some of the same spotlight she has. Oh, wait, did he have a show on VH1? For the love of Ray J, God, shoot me. We're not defined by a past, we're defined by big asses. Especially when it's in a prone position. Kim the Cow has a statement how excited. Ray J is a joke. He needs to take a good look at his life. He has nothing going for himself, so he's taking shots at Kim. He's no he is no man but a little ass boy. What the fuck? Somebody's noticed the same thing. All he wrote was laugh or laugh. Okay, let me let me say this right now. Let me let me get to this. Every day we hear people in the media, usually white people mock Kim Kardashian and black people black women usually but it seems to me just by this brother just putting LOL don't know what it was in reference to it could have been a private joke you know and nine times out of ten you know Kim Kardashian probably just communicated with him we don't know or maybe he thought it was funny how this woman became a household name because of his dick let's be honest Nobody was going to see Kim Kardashian. People was going to see the tape because Ray J, Randy, I mean Brandy's little brother. 
All we knew of Kim Kardashian was from her daddy, Robert Kardashian. The one that's supposed to be O.J. Simpson friend. You know when they said not guilty, that famous, that stare he had on his face? Or that her mother was fucking, was f fucked with, with uh, Bruce Jenner? Kim Kardashian has been just fucked nothing but black men. And every last one of them has been rich. She fucked with Reggie Bush. She fucked with, with Ray J. She fuck, fucked with another brother and said that he beat her when it was the, the, dean, the dean to help. When that didn't gain the traction, she stopped saying it. Then when she didn't want to, then she wanted to change her look. She didn't chop the face and put the makeup on. Then she tried to wear her hair blonde. Then she wanted to get, she didn't want to be seen around black men because she made jokes. It's out here on YouTube. Her and her sister's making jokes about black folk. And her mama probably said, you need to go get your white guy or something close to a white guy. No white guy will fuck with her. So she went and got Chris Humphries. He ain't white. He got a white mama, black dad. That's a black man. I know some of y'all don't want to admit that, but y'all got to stop doing that separation shit. She didn't want to be married. She only wanted to get people to get off her back. And do. And she thought dude was going to be a boy toy. She was going to jump because of her. They didn't play that. Mommy got in there and said, get, get rid of him. And what did the media do? They, 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 they've, been, they've been criticizing that dude ever since. Now she's with Kanye. She doing that. She, she just like, she, you know, she remember Jennifer Lopez. Another woman of color. That just go from guy to guy. But at least Jennifer broadened her horizons a little bit. But eventually she had to crawl back back to a, a, a dark skinned man, a man of uh, of color. This author so just, just ate, he mocks her. What did he say wrong? He just put LOL. See, it's okay for y'all to say all the dirty shit about her, and it's, it's, that's cool. That's funny. But if a black man like like he's about to criticize her, remember his name was slandered. Y'all forget that the media tried to slander him with this whole Whitney Houston thing. Huffington Post and these these contributors they are slanted against black men. That's why I get mad at our brothers who are in the media who constantly coon them a fool for these bastards. Everybody, the other day, didn't some white woman say she wanted to fight Kim Kardashian? And people was like, yeah, yeah. Nobody told her she need to grow up. And I'm going to pull that fucking article. I'm going to find and put that article up. How many, didn't, didn't, how many times have, have people said they wanted to do harm to white folk? Oh, I forget when there's white folks saying it, it's cool. And it's white men and white women saying it's cool. But all he did was LOL. And if he's, and I don't think he's, I mean, he could be, be angry, he could be bitter, but can you blame him to a degree? You got famous off of his dick. This woman can try all she want. They're not white. I keep telling y'all. She could put all that caked up makeup on her face. Her sister Chloe realized what, what, what time it was. That's why she went and got Lamar Odom. The other sister, she just popping out baby. They ain't even married to the white dude she fucking with. I keep trying to tell our people. I said we don't have the same standards there. That uh, they don't hold us. No, let me rephrase that. We're not held to the same standards. People can mock Kim Kardashian, talk about it, threaten to kick her ass, but all brothers just do LOL, he's mocking her. And notice, the person who wrote this didn't put their name up this time. But then you, you, you come down, the black women down here criticize them, mocking them. Come on. Now, you can say, this may not be our sister. Could, may not. But this reminds me when um when um the whole Chris Brown thing. You had a bunch of our women out here talking shit about him and criticizing and critiquing and shit. But when white folks are calling her whores and skanks and you know talent, it was quiet. Why is it that when a black man says someone does something, he never he never hears the end of it? 
This is why I'm upset with Tyler Perry. Like, why you put that bitch in your movie? We keep making these motherfuckers rich. I don't, I don't understand it. It's just like Michael Jackson. I don't know if y'all heard what's going on with Michael. I know y'all say well, how this connected, but it's, in some way it is. Michael Jackson loved his music, but the man was color struck. The whole family's color struck. Go back up. If y'all haven't watched, didn't watch the show on a and &E, the Jacksons, go back and watch it. If you notice all the women in their life or the, or the, or the skin tone or, or the facial characteristics, they, 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 they color struck. The Jackson family was color struck. They all had plastic surgery. They all hung around white folks and every last one of these white folks had done them wrong. Michael Jackson didn't want no black kids. He went and got, got white kids with a white woman. The Jacksons all around the 14 year old girl. People were saying, oh, the Jacksons die for money. No, they not. They all got their own money. But this is the, this is the divide and conquer, divide the family from each other. Put out these bogus ass stories about the family. So now Randy, who's remaining to stay out of the spotlight, the one who had Michael's back all through that time. Actually, the whole family had Michael back. Let's get that straight. One, one, one. Let's get that straight. When he was going through that trial, all them so-called Hollywood friends, all them people that he made rich, where were they at? It was his father, his mother, brothers and sisters that went him, nieces and nephews. Well, guess what? In the will, nothing was in the will. He wasn't, he wasn't in the will. There was none of them was in the will, just their mother. And I find that odd. Now, from what I understand, Mike still talked to his brothers and sisters. He was especially close to Janet. They was the two breakout stars in the family. Let's just be honest. Now, people say, well, Janet had her own money. But, you know, Mike, I'm pretty sure Mike, all the shit he was going through, Mike wasn't dumb. But Mike had a lot of hanger-ons in his last years of his life. A lot of people questioned the attending behavior. Well, the family's concerned about the mother because Catherine is an age. She's up there. And they're concerned about the interviews and shit. And I told y'all in one of my old videos, I said, once one interview gets started, it's going to be an avalanche. Paris is now acting. Michael did not want his kids in, in that type of environment. So you now you got a 14-year-old girl. She's feeling herself now. God, she know the media is going to attack her family. She know her biological mother came out the world where I told y'all this shit was going to happen. Now, Paris is mad at the uncles and aunts, the ones that was there for her, her brothers. Watch the shows how they try to insinuate out of family, but they kept focusing on Randy. Because Randy was there defending his brother. I told y'all when Michael died, all the vultures are going to come out. Debbie Rose and them all come out. I kind of make saying, y'all need to get with them kids. Don't let them get, keep Joe Jackson away from them. The whole point I'm trying, and the whole point I'm trying to tie back to the Kim Kardashian thing is they don't want a black person to make money. They don't want a black man to be vocal. They have a whole different set of standards for the black man, the black woman. But when it gets down to somebody whose uh, skin's a little bit lighter, they'll protect them. We can talk about it, but you can't. This is why I say, brothers and sisters, we got to get our shit in order before we try to step outside of our community or try to embrace those who have run away from us. Remember, those kids that Michael got are white. When they, they ain't that far from 18, I got money, they're going to bounce. Or they're going to be some tell-all books about the family. Or some exaggerations. Look what Kim Kardashian did. She's made money out of fucking black men. People keep saying she's white. She love that shit. See, black black men like Ray J and Michael Jackson and Kanye and OJ Simpson and Tiger Woods and Kobe Bryant. All you motherfuckers are stupid. Y'all don't want to be around none of y'all own people. Or people that look like you or identify who don't have a problem proclaiming who they are. Now y'all getting criticized. Every time y'all open y'all mouth, people are trying to link it to something. Or you doing something you shouldn't be saying this and doing that. I mean, all he said was LOL. Kim Kardashian made her, 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 her name by fucking. 
on camera. Then playing, pretending like she didn't know nothing about it when it was her mother and them working the deals. Kim Kardashian was also looked upon as Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie's little buddy that tagged along with him. Poor little um, Kim Kardashian. People watch that video called was Brandy's brother or just or Ray J. He has a name. He's made music. He's an actor. Oh, because he's not big in white people's eyes or uh, he's not none. He's nothing. Remember, they tried to say he had something to do with Whitney Houston's death this year. Remember? We forget that. These magazines, these new websites, these um, these these entertainment shows love to make it as if the black man is somehow wrong with everything he does or says on this planet. I'm telling y'all, they need to put a fucking class in the black community to not do what these brothers have done. I mean, Kim got got famous off of fucking a black man. His dick basically got her famous. And this plays into so many stories and stereotypes and things that the black man has to endure. Do I feel sorry for Ray J? No. But this woman is a millionaire because she she's fucking up with black men. And then they make it fun of Chris Humphreys. It should be the other way around because she act like a diva. But see, they're not going to say anything about Kim Kardashian yet. They still make money off her. She still sell magazines and stuff. They still got a TV show. They ain't going to fuck with their cash cow. When they can't make any more money off her ass, they kick her to the curb. Look how they try to make Snooki out to be, um, be this, 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 this uh, uh, thing that should be admired. They made they 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 made they fame off of acting like fools on television. Now they on the Tonight Show and sitting there talking to new gangers and shit. I mean, like, what the fuck, man? This is why I tell our brothers and sisters we gotta quit allowing people to come in and milk our culture and get up on us and turn around and make money. That's why I told them, did that video they about Justin Bieber and I'm like, these motherfuckers have made money off our brothers, but our brothers don't see it and then when they see it, it's too late. I mean, come on. And the person who wrote this didn't even put their fucking name. They know it's a, a bullshit-ass story. He's mocking. What did he say he was mocking? He just put LOL. Remember, he knows her better than, she, than, than, than we do. If y'all seen that, that sex tape, you know what I'm talking about. Just they don't want a brother to speak. They don't want him to have any, uh, any uh, criticisms. Tell you about this country.